hi everyone and welcome back to my channel today we are going to do another plan with me I had a friend of mine die last week so this week is going to be really hard for me being that the funeral is tomorrow so this week's plan with me is going to be more dark tones but it, there will still be some florals in it I am going to feature these two washi this one is from Pink Room Co. Um, it's a black lace with red foiling on the bows, which is quite pretty. And I'm also going to be using this washi from Simply Gilded. It's the black vertical with the silver foiling. I'm going to another funeral, so I thought I would feature black. Um, I think it would be appropriate for uh, my week. Um, I'm not going to white out the lines at this time. Uh, there's no need to because uh, it's black anyway. I don't think it's going to go, um, I don't think it's going to be that see-through. I'm going to have to make adjustments because so from this line to the edge of the blue line it's about we'll say eight millimeters and obviously I this is a 15 millimeter washi and I want to cut out the the top the white bits on the top and the white bits on the bottom because I don't want to encroach on um, the last line do you know what I mean I don't want the boxes so small um, that I won't be able to write in it now when I'm laying this down as you can see it'll cut off the bottom of the nine and cut off that number I don't like that obviously so what I'm going to do is line my little piece of tape up line it up with one of the lines from the cutting mat so I'm cutting it straight I'm going to use my stainless steel ruler and my cutting knife I'm going to cut at the edge of the lace and get rid of the white part. So I've just cut off the top so um, that white bit is gone and I know that just from measuring it that is going to be too thick for that still. What I'm going to do is I'm also going to cut out the bottom of the lace so that's going to be enough now I think so I just want it right on the top of the number making sure that it's straight and as you can see the nine is still visible it's not going to matter to me if the edge of the tape isn't straight because I'm going to put the thin washi down vertically on it for this space here what I'm going to do is again measure out how much tape I need I'm going to cut off the white edges on the top and on the bottom and then lay it down on the sheet making sure that I cover up that bottom line and the blue and I'll just cut off that excess it 
now that's finished I've decided to also add this horizontal heart and bow it's also black as you can see with red foiling this is also from the pink room co I'm just going to add this to the bottom of the page to hide that line I just think this will be nice contrast as well with the red bows I'm going to put it right up to the edge of the sheet just because I don't want to lose um, as much of the spaces as, as possible by space I mean that line there okay so I'm happy with that I'm just going to line it up right up to the edge of um, that washi and all I want to do is cover these lines I'm going to line it up so that it's straight and near the hole punches as possible I didn't mean to but all the big bows line up on the edge there I didn't mean for that to happen and also on this side all the big bows line up on the edge that was just a complete and total fluke and again putting it right up on the edge of that washi there's one page done now we'll do the other page that's my pages laid out but I just remembered remember the lace that I cut out from the bottom up here well I'm thinking instead of wasting it because it's so pretty I might put it at the top up here but now of course it's lost its adhesiveness so what I'm gonna do is just get some double-sided tape and just lay it up on top it's not enough to go from the edge to edge so I'm just gonna measure out my tape my double-sided tape and I won't put it on the edge very carefully put this down making sure I've put it right over the top of the double-sided tape so that's just pretty what I should have done now that I think about it is put the lace work on the bottom instead of the hearts that would have finished it off nicely but since I've already laid down all the washi tape I'm not gonna pull it back up just for that I don't mind the hearts anyway um, like I said I've got a funeral this week and the hearts will just be a good uh, symbol of uh, you know the love that I felt for my friend who died there we're all set okay let's have a look at this clear the table have a look at this this is from two Lil bees she did a collaboration with Christy from the planner society to make a Valentine's kit a few years ago and I might use this box here because it's also got the flower on it I'm gonna just lay it
down there and then I'll put her funeral details there this is from tender designs as you can see this is the um, premium matte sticker it is so smooth you guys it's like buttery soft and I've ordered a lot of stickers from Emma but this is the first time I ordered one of her premium mats and when all of her other stickers have gone I'm going to order premium mats from now on okay so I've got a class next Saturday so I'll just put that there and then put I'll fill in the details later so they're on the 11th of the 11th um, Americans have Veterans Day we don't have Veterans Day, but we have Remembrance Day. So I'll just stick my Remembrance Day sticker over the top of the Veterans Day. I normally fill in my, um, my work days, but they will change this week. So I'm not going to put them in, but I will put in my days off. My day off will be on Tuesday. We'll go with purple. One of my childhood friends died last week and um, I've been sad all week about it. I also had a funeral on Thursday that I went to. So two funerals in two weeks it's put a toll on me um, so I'm not really feeling like decorating this with flowers and happy stuff because I'm not feeling happy right now I'm feeling kind of sad um, but in saying that I do still want to decorate my planner I just don't want bright colors I might put a um, flower to mark the day of the funeral as well I'm just going through my little samplers from closet planner addict what do you think of that a lantern with flowers on it or maybe a love heart wreath I'll put the lantern down that's nice or maybe I'll put some hearts May as well use the entire sticker sheet. Let us have a look at this page. Every single box has a flower in it and I feel like I need a flower for this box. I'm going to put it in this corner because as you can see I um, it's not that corner isn't even so I just want to hide it like that I like it I love that lace work there we go it's in the planner it's plain it reflects how I feel I love the red foil the stickers are from closet planner addict 
The payday and day off is from Peggy Dully Things. And my class sticker is from Tender Designs. Again, that's it for another plan with me for this week. And I will see you again soon for my next video. If you liked it, please give me a big thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, I'll see ya. Bye.